Well, hello there! It's that time again. Yes, it is, my friend. It is time for the blog that truly blazes here on this beautiful, a little cloudy, but still beautiful, Sunday afternoon, March the 13th of 2016. And as usual, I'm going to go over the energies of the end of last week's reading, what we're coming into now, and of course, always most interesting, what lies ahead of us towards the end of this upcoming week. So do stay tuned. Again, another interesting ride. Yes, indeed. The first card is the last card of the previous week's reading, and this card was the Knight of Wands. Ooh, fiery energy. Look at that knight blazing, taking off, going for adventure. That's how we may have felt the last few days. One way or another, you may have felt more motivated, you may have felt more creative, you just may have felt more alive, more vibrant, ready to pursue your goals, ready to take action. Just like the knight, he stops for nothing, he just basically goes for it. Now, of course, we do want to watch against being overly impulsive, all right? That doesn't serve a cause either. We do need to kind of think things through before we act. But the main thing for the last few days has been action. So if you found yourself more active, I know I did. Okay, my creative juices have been flowing, working on creative projects. Uh, yours may have been doing the same. And as we move that energy, here's the thing now. As we move that energy, as we go ahead and go forward, it opens up for even more energy to come in. When we get busy, that energy leaves, that, that energy of busyness creates even, in a way, more of a vacuum where more can flood in. And so you may have found yourself getting busier and busier, and we're going to stay busy as the week continues. Yes, indeed. The card for the present, what we're coming into now, is the Lovers. A very beautiful card, attributed to Gemini. It indicates closer relationship with others, quite possibly. If that's a concern to you, then you will be focusing upon that. But there's a higher significance to this card, which often applies for the kind of readings that we're doing here. And the whole idea of this is inspiration. On the Kabbalistic Tree of Life, this card connects us with the higher realms on the Tree of Life, the divine energies. It's a very, very, very powerful card. And that energy can fill us, inspire us, and move us in new ways. So don't be surprised if you find even more inspiration coming in. If you have been making creative efforts, expect those efforts to be stimulated. And if you do have relationship issues, you will be focusing on those as the week progresses. And this is basically going to be, I think for the most part, a positive process. Even a very challenged relationship, you may find new communications opening. This card is ruled by Mercury, Gemini. It is a sign ruled by Mercury, mutable air. And so you're going to find perhaps communications increase. The moon, by the way, is going into Gemini. Okay, or isn't Gemini actually as we speak. We'll be going into Cancer and then ending up in Leo by next weekend. And as the week progresses, we'll find ourselves also bringing more things again, like we have seen the pattern here the last several weeks, bringing things into manifestation. Yes, the third and final card, the card for the end of the week, is the Three of Discs, or Pentacles, attributed to Mars and Capricorn. This is persistence, hard work, focus. Three is the number of manifestation, also attributed to the sphere of Bina or Saturn in the Kabbalah, which is force taking form, and also Mars's persistence, energy, aggression, Capricorn, conservative, structured, careful. So it's through hard work and effort that we see things come about. But that's natural. We're inspired. So we're going to work hard. We're going to be focused. We're going to be taking that inspiration and etching it into stone making it happen slowly but surely not overnight but making it happen making it real getting things accomplished so this could be a very productive and fruitful time this week 
And again, if you have creative projects going, this is excellent. You're going to really make some progress. You may even some, complete some things you've been working on for a while. All very, very, very good. Well, there you go, the blog blazed. You blazed with it. Hey, thanks a lot for tuning into the blog. I appreciate it. And until I see you next week, many, many blessings.